So we're at it again. I think in the last episode we built the floor frame, got it welded, built the firewall, got it welded, got it ground down, did the necessary body work, and got it painted. I think the goal for this episode is to lay down the skin for the floor, but it's going to take a lot of measuring. We're going to have to draw up some templates, make sure it fits right, transfer that over to the sheet metal, and get it all cut out. So let's get at it. All right, we've got all of our measurements for the bell housing done uh, and one strip down the tunnel. So let's get that transferred to a template. So here we have it. We've got the templates made for the tunnel, the bell housing. Uh, that was some pretty tricky engineering that I had to do with some of these angles, but we got it done. Now let's transfer it over some sheet metal.
all right, got all my pieces cut. Everything's been test fit. Everything fits up pretty dang good. So we're gonna go ahead and go with it and start tacking this stuff up. Now that is what I call progress. Got everything welded up, and you gotta love it when the corners are real tight. That gives you a really good weld, really easy to grind off, and that's what I was looking for. Uh, I have a couple spots where you know I obviously had to add wire. I tried to fuse as much as I possibly could because it's just gonna make it easier uh, when it comes to grinding. <clears throat> uh, but I got everything welded, both sides. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I want to show you one thing here. As you can see, there's a lip right here that I purposely made. All, it goes all the way across. And the point of this is that I really want to be able to access, once this is all said and done, I want to be able to access uh, the transmission from inside the cab. Just in case, just for any reason, uh, that I need to get to it without crawling underneath the car. So I wanted to make this removable. Uh, so what I plan on doing is using those lips and then up here on the bracing around the firewall I want to go ahead and drill some holes and then put some rivets in there that way if I ne ever need to gain access I uh, just need to drill those rivets back out and then pop this thing off and I have full access <clears throat> we're about to get started uh, on the floors I'm about to do the uh, the pattern for the floor and get that all cut out and then we'll be able to transfer it over to some sheet metal and this should be done pretty quick. And as you can see, we got the templates done for the floors. Uh, everything worked out pretty good. I got to tell you, this 
poster board was really easy to use. I should have used it uh, when constructing this tunnel template. Um, but yeah, it was about a dollar a sheet. As you can see, I used four sheets, so definitely worth the money. Uh, but everything came out pretty good. Now we just need to get it transferred over to some sheet metal, get that cut out, and finally get them installed. Guess what? We have got floors. This is a giant, giant milestone for me. Something that I've been looking to achieve uh, for the past few months. I've had my eye on it. And finally, they're in. Uh, everything's sitting loose right now. No big deal. I just wanted to test fit everything and make sure that it was going to fit and look right. Um, but yeah, it was a lot easier than I really expected it to be. Uh, the hardest part was probably obviously around the bell housing with some of those crazy angles and the engineering that had to go into that, but that was no big deal. You can see that I've got a couple, uh, there's a gap right there and there's one on the other side, which when I actually push it in, it's, it's a little bit tighter, but there is a gap there. So I am considering, uh, I wanted to make that, that piece there removable just so I can access the transmission, the bell housing, uh, the lever, the gear selector. Uh, things like that, but I think in hindsight, it's probably best if I go ahead and weld it all and just make this entire thing one solid cohesive piece in the end and seal it up that way Nothing gets in no water. No nothing gets in um, So yeah, it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it uh, Where I'm at now I've got some stuff drawn up here I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and I've got these dots on here. I'm going to drill some holes uh, in the sheet metal and then go ahead and spot weld those areas all the way around just to get it to sit uh, nice and solid. And then when I get that done, I'm going to come up underneath and go ahead and weld across the bracing and get it uh, get it in there forever. <laughs> so uh, I've got some seams here that I'm going to have to. They're going to be a little bit tricky. There's some angles on there that are not going to be too fun, but that shouldn't be a big deal. I'll be able to deal with that, no problem. Uh, but yeah, I think what I'm looking to do is go ahead and maybe cut some of these tabs off that I've made and go ahead and weld it all together, weld it to the, the tunnel itself. Uh, I think that would be the best way to go, and it will help me eliminate some of these gaps that I have around there in the end. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, really couldn't ask for much more. Learned a lot of new tricks, that's for sure. But I think that's where we're going to leave this episode. And I think in the next one, we'll go ahead and nail all this stuff down and weld it all out. And uh, then we'll deal with this. We'll get the, the cab back on the uh, the chassis. And then try to figure out where the master cylinder and the brake, how that's going to configure into this whole thing. So after thinking about it, that's what I decided to do. So that's where we're going to leave it here. Uh, I want to thank you folks for watching. I really appreciate all the support and we'll see you in the next one.